In this lesson on financial mathematics, we're going to have a look at present value annuities. In the previous lesson, we had a look at the future value formula. And this formula calculates one big accumulated value in the future that consists of regular equal payments. Today, we're going to have a look at the present value formula. This formula determines one big value at the start of an account that is then broken up into equal regular payments. This formula then takes each of those payments and removes the interest that it will still receive to determine the value of the account at the beginning. This formula is used for loans because when you take out a loan, you receive the big amount at the beginning of the account and then repay this in equal regular payments. This formula can also be used when you invest a big sum of money so that you can receive a fixed income from this account on a regular basis. Examples of this is when inheritance or prize money is invested so that you can make regular constant withdrawals. In this way, you ensure that the money invested still receives interest. In this formula, the P is for present value, X is still the payment, I, the interest rate per period, and N, the number of payments. Let's have a look at examples where we can use this formula. Example 1. Mpo can afford to pay back at most 8,000 Rand per month on a car loan. The interest on a car loan is 15% per annum compounded monthly. He will make his first payment one month from now and will repay the loan over a period of five years. What is the price of the most expensive car Mpo can afford? So here we are asked to determine the present value of a loan that Mpo can afford if he can pay 8,000 Rand per month. Usually when taking out a loan, the first payment is one period after the opening of the account. So that means that Mpo will start repaying this loan in one month's time. Mpo wants to pay off this loan in five years and five years worth of months means that he will make his last payment of 8,000 Rand after 60 months. And now we can substitute all of this information into our new present value formula. We know that his payment each month will be 8,000 Rand. And we also received that the interest rate is 15%. That is compounded monthly. And this rate should always be in the same period as the payments. And here both of them are monthly. Mpo will be making 60 payments in this period. And in the denominator, we once again have our interest rate of 15% compounded monthly. So here we will see that the p-value or the present value is equal to 336,276 with 73 cents. This means that the price of the most expensive car that Mpo can afford will be 336,276 rand and 73 cents. Example 2. Louise wishes to repay a loan of 150,000 rand by means of 16 equal quarterly payments starting three months from now. The interest rate on the loan is 21,5% per annum compounded quarterly. Question A. Calculate what Louise's quarterly payment will be. Here we are given that she wants to repay a loan of 150,000 Rand, which will be our present value, by means of 16 equal payments, and that will be in. We are also given the interest rate of 21,5%. It is important to realize that Louise will be making quarterly payments and quarterly means every three months. That is why it's important that the interest rate is also compounded quarterly. For any normal loan, the big amount will be paid so you will open your account and then the repayments will start in one period's time. So here Louise received her 150,000 Rand loan and in one period's time, which is one quarter, 
or in three months time, she will make her first payment. And now we can substitute into our present value formula. We know that the present value is 150,000 Rand. We want to determine X, the payment, but we have our interest rate, which is 21,5%, which we've divided by 100, and it is compounded quarterly, so we have to divide it by 4. Here we have a minus in the formula in the exponent, and we know there are 16 payments. Then in the denominator, we once again have our interest rate of 21,5% compounded quarterly. And now we want to solve X, the quarterly payment. So to do that, I'm going to take the interest rate that is divided on the right and multiply with it on the left. And next I'm going to take the bracket that is multiplied to X and divide by that. And this will then give us an amount of 14,212 Rand and 35 cents that she has to pay every quarter. Question B. Calculate the total interest that Louise will pay on the loan. We already know that Louise is going to pay 14,212 Rand and 35 cents for 16 payments. That means she will make a total payment of 227,397 Rand and 60 cents. But we know that the original loan was only 450,000 Rand. That means if we take her total payment and we subtract the 150,000 Rand, that remaining amount is the interest that she paid on her loan. And that amount of interest will then be 77,000 397 Rand and 60 cents.